what is up you guys time is back with the beautiful mrs hello and as you guys can see it might be a little blur but she is rocking that lincense cap right there King thomas lincense yeah so make sure you go and uh maybe we'll put that little subscribe bell icon right above that hat eventually somewhere in this video uh, there we go there we go now nice. we're in focus focus shout out to the sister-in-law she always makes all the cool stuff and I know you guys see that Milwaukee Brewers hat. By the way, the Brewers are in the first place in their division, the Central Division. Also, there's only like three teams that actually have a better record than the Brewers so far. So, man, this might be the year of Milwaukee Bucks, Fine. Brewers. Maybe we'll throw in Green Bay for good luck. Maybe Aaron Rodgers will do something this year. But today, the wife is actually here to pick which one of these fragrances from a certain house is her favorite? Oh, I thought I it was did, here. I did pick up two of them uh, from the same house. Um, and by the way, again, you guys, you guys got to hit the share button. Hit the likes. Hit the comments. Uh, go throw this somewhere on Facebook or Instagram. Do, do something because we're Twitter. both sitting on this floor still. Like we, we can't afford chairs. I can afford those, but not chairs, okay? Chairs don't make me smell good. So you guys gotta help me us out, okay? He needs an office. I do need an office. Look, we're sitting. Look, I got my colognes in this little square <laughs> section over here. It's it's horrible. But the good thing about me not sitting in the chair right now, if I was sitting in the chair, you guys would be seeing my belly button because literally this shirt is right about here. The belly is exposed, and I don't care because you guys can't see it anyways. But let's get into the video, okay? So today. This was another one of those, um, my wife is petting the dog, by the way. You guys know Charlie. That is the one with the tuxedo-style uh, fur with the white yes. chest. We um, do have another son, Brody. He is being bad right now. He's probably, oh. he's coming in. You guys hear that, Bill? Here he comes. Look at that. And there he is. He had to make his grand appearance for the video today. Now, I'm pretty sure one of them is going to knock this camera over eventually. So, let's get into this video. All right, so this was one of those occasions where Facebook just, I don't know, how do they know I'm looking for colognes once in a while? But anyways, this is a little uh, company that somehow made its way onto my Facebook page, and lo and behold, I actually bought a couple of them. And that is this Hemingway Accoutrements, it's called, okay? Now, at first, I thought it was Acrements, but it's actually pronounce accoutrements okay hmm. um hemingway accoutrements okay um now they are out of arizona over there in fountain hills so shout out to anyone of my review my viewers that are out in fountain hill is that fountain hill or mountain hill fountain hill arizona so if you guys are watching from there shout out to you guys you guys rock but anyways let's get into this box which they used super mighty glue to tape everything together so now you guys can see him struggle now next thing you know on facebook one of those muscle machines will be on my facebook thing when they see this like oh i think i can use some muscles to get in that box some muscle milk all sorts of ads so we'll see what comes up on the ads next week but anyways here we go we're gonna finally get into this box i think again they had two of them one was a new release when i got it um and so far Especially for like, now I'm not sure if these are clones or anything like that, or these are just their own creations. But, I'm kind of not digging these boxes. I mean, if you guys have had these fragrances, do all of them come in these boxes? I mean, there's nothing on them. At least give me some kind of design, something on the box, okay? Even a UPC code, just take one of those Aldi ones and just strap a UPC code all the way around the whole box. But, so, there we go, like... If I open both of these up, I don't know which one is in which box because there's nothing, no label, nothing. It's looks like that government cheese box. You guys know that one, right? Hey, those were good sandwiches. But that thing said government cheese. See, at least I knew what I was getting into. But, okay. So they're making up with a nice little pouchy pouch. That nice little red sacky sack. Maybe give this to my granddad so we can keep his change in there. Um, That's man. one of those gin bottle bags. You guys, remember those little coin bags that granny had that little top the little twist top 
But uh, anyways, let's get into the other one, see if they at least maybe gave me a different colored bag. So maybe that way I can guess which one is which. And no, they did not. So two red bags. Hey, maybe someone to get one of these for Chinese New Year's with some money. So here we go. And uh, so these are their bottles. We got the Signature Collection. Again, <coughs> Ernest Hemingway. This is the <coughs> Signature Collection. That dog is barking. This is just the EDP. Again, the Signature Collection. This is a 1.750 ml. And then this one was their newest release at the time. This is called Cafe de Menthe. Cafe de Menthe. Can I say something? Mm. Th like, show them the bottle. It kind of looks like something from The Hobbit, right? Like the writing, and then the little pouch it comes in, right? So maybe they are Hobbit fans. Um, who knows? Are who knows rings? what a company is thinking when they are designing these bottles who knows but okay these were about I think $65 each now they are an eau de parfum so a little bit more oil concentration mm -hmm. however I did have a coupon I think it was like a 15% off so I did save a little bit of money <coughs> but for this price point especially from some other Companies, now I don't want to bash them because at the end of the day, all that matters is the smell. But I'm a little disappointed kind of with the whole overall bottle. Like, I mean, it's kind of just, this looks like one of those fragrances that just sit on that rack at TJ Maxx. The ones that are just sitting out of the box and everything like that. But again, who knows? These might smell amazing. So um, I forgot what the heck these fragrances even have in it. This one probably has got some kind of mint and some kind of coffee, maybe some cocoa in it. This one, the signature collection, most likely some woods, some type of citruses. Who knows? We're just going in with a open mind with both of these. So this is pretty much their cap, uh, but it does protect you from accidental sprays. You have to take this with you, so that's one good thing about that. But if you lose this, you're pretty much screwed. But here we go. Let's go with the older one first. I think that this is their original. This is the original Eau de Parfum. Make sure I don't have no doggy breath on my hands because that'll kind of discredit the smell a little bit. Be like, man, it smells kind of earthy and animalic. So here we go. Nice atomizer though. Nice big spray. Can you smell anything just yet? Look at these dogs. Ooh, man. I kind of like that, actually. Ooh. Okay, that is nice and, um... It does smell pretty It's kind of got like a spicy, citrusy type smell. <laughs> With a hint of, like, some cinnamon and maybe Ooh. some other kind of spices. There is some tobacco and stuff in here as well. Um, no. We're going to give our dog a nice beat down pretty soon because... Trying to make a damn video here now, okay? But you know you guys like animals, that's why I bring the animals into the video. It's but this one almost kind of has so a citrusy, spicy, like a cinnamon um up at the top. There is it says, if I recall right, I just actually looked at it. it said there was some tobacco and some honey in this fragrance as well. Now, I'm not getting that just yet, but what I am getting is, again, that citrusy spiciness that, and it almost kind of has like this almost bubblegummy smell as well. If you really smell like deep enough, like like an original bubblegum too. And um, I'm digging that one. Kind of has like this almost leathery smell in the background as well. But I'm digging that one so far. So far, that's like actually... That pretty nice that would actually be a nice to me this screams like a nice little date night you and the wife you right here this is not just i don't see this as being a like everyday type fragrance this is just like a nice date night it's not like an extravagant date night just maybe just going out to olive garden or something like that you just want to smell good this is the one and now we got dogs outside parking but yes this one is actually quite nice you guys um i'm digging that one and as you can see, the hand is quite shiny, so there is a nice 
concentration of oils in here. So, oh, oh man, there's all type of dogs out here. It's a damn, it's a damn bark fest in here. Now, I know you guys now, hopefully you guys don't have your skull crusher headphones on right now because you guys are probably deaf by now. But if you guys don't, go check out my review on the Skull Crusher Evos. Those are the bomb headphones. It's a cool way to kind of suggest that video through all this barking. But again, citrusy, spicy, slightly bubblegummy, and sweet. This one is quite nice, guys. Um, and then this one, this Charlie over here, he just doesn't know when to stop after a while. Next one. Hey, see, with me, you guys get the whole shebang. You get the whole... You get the, the, the bloopers, you get a little bit of editing, you get a little bit of cool, like, cinematic, cinematography, cinematography, I don't know, cinematography, something like that. You get all of it. You get the, you get the bloopers, <laughs> you get the wife, you get barking dogs, you get everything with this video. There's no just coming in here and having no cool white tuxedo on and stuff like that and doing all this cool stuff. You get the whole shebang. This is almost like one of those... Uh, what is that? Those videos called when you show people your life and stuff. What is that called? Vlog. Day in the life. Oh yeah. It's like a day in the life video on vlog. See, we deal with dogs and stuff like that all day. You so here we go. True life. This is the real us. But man, I'm kind of digging that one again. Citrusy, spicy, kind of bubble gummy with a little bit of leather in the background. Maybe a little dash of honey and did say there's some tobacco in here, but we shall see. But next up is that Cafe de Menthe. Now this one did say I think it did say it had coffee and some kind of mint. I don't have a nice atomizer as well. I think it's the same thing, if I'm not mistaken. But you definitely, like, when I'm getting these little whiffs, I'm definitely getting a light mist of mint right now, but let me get closer. Now, I get the mint right away. here's the thing, you guys. This would be nice maybe if you are, I don't know, going into a coffee shop, Starbucks, maybe one of your locals. But that first opening, okay, and I do kind of like mint in some of my fragrances, but not so overpowering that it's almost like just smelling a tube of toothpaste, which it kind of was right off at the front. Now it is kind of dying down a little bit. Kind of smells like... Kind of smells like there's some kind of herb in here as well, on top of that mint. Like a eucalyptus, maybe? Not, maybe. Not getting too much chocolate or coffee if there was any of it in here. Now, here's another thing, too. They probably make such a small batch that sometimes they make enough batches where they just ship them out right away. And a lot of times, some of these fragrances, especially with that higher oil concentration, they need a little bit longer to kind of, you know, it's just like a marinade for meat. The longer you let it sit on that meat, the more intense the flavor is. So now I'm not sure if, because I'm not really getting that much other than that mint and maybe some kind of herb in here. Let's smell it again. Let's see if I'm kind of missing something that you can't get a whiff of. I'm still getting a lot of mint. <clears throat> That's all. Literally all I'm getting is like this green, minty, maybe some kind of other herb, maybe some basil, who knows, maybe some thyme. But in the opening, this is really not I'm actually disappointed with that one. I'm not a fan of that one at all. Oh, like and it. it cleared my nose. Yeah, maybe I'll use this as nasal spray maybe at the middle of the night if I can't breathe. Because the mint is pretty strong in this fragrance, but I feel like with a fragrance like that, with that mint being so strong at the top, you kind of want like some kind, something kind of citrusy to kind of mellow that mint out a little bit. You don't want that mint. There's mo there's other minty fragrances out there that where the mint kind of just plays a role. This is like pretty much the starter, the rotation guy, and the finisher. This is everything. <sighs> I'm getting some slight chocolate in here, like it's like a, almost like a peppermint patty melt. You guys know what that is? I don't know if it's called a peppermint patty melt, but I know it's a peppermint patty. Patty, but I don't know. I don't know if it's a melt though. So, 
that might be a sandwich, but. <clears throat> Ernest Hemingway. I don't, I don't know if that's the guy's name who makes this stuff. Again, all I know is that the thing just showed up on my Facebook uh, page one day. And knowing me, a lot of those Facebook ads, they just somehow just... Find you. How do they know what I'm looking for? Because it's like what you search and everything. How do they know? You just gotta... Because it, it depends on what you use your phone for and it, yeah. Now, one thing too, I was always wondering, maybe uh, Fraghead can explain this to me or maybe someone in general that just knows how the nose works. But sometimes they say uh, you go nose blind to some fragrances. Have you heard that before? Yes. Now, why is it that you can go nose blind to fragrances, but if someone sits next to you that just smells like shit, you can smell them <laughs> the whole entire time? There's no, like, getting used to it and you're nose blind. You, well, you probably you will would've... smell shit the whole entire time if they're in your car, but someone can bathe in cologne, you'll smell it for a few minutes, and the next thing you know, it's kind of vanished already. So, is it just things that you like that you go nose blind to? Because well, I don't you... go nose blind to... If you lived with that like person, cookies. you probably would go no flying to them. But, like, I don't smell all these colognes every day, though. You guys almost seen my boobie right there. But, this is one of those cases where I kind of wish I did go nose blind on this one because I'm just not a fan of that one. And it's not to say that the mint, the mint smells terrible. like... It doesn't smell terrible. It's not like an artificial mint. It actually smells like a nice... Real mint. Real mint. Like you muddled some mint in some kind of herb. But I was expecting something else to be more of the dominant player in this. And the mint kind of just play a role in it. Which would make more sense. Again, other minty fragrances. Especially a lot of minty fragrances. Sometimes you'll see them in summery fragrances. Because it kind of cools your skin down a little bit. This seems like this would be, especially from what I've read, that's the reason why I bought it, it seems like this would be for like a fall or winter time style day because it said there was like some coffee notes in here and some mint and all this other stuff. But and literally say, all I'm getting with this one is mint, mint and some, some kind of other herb in here. There's really nothing else. Like no, I'm not getting really no citrus or anything. It's kind of fresh minty, but... That one is a dud right there. That other one, though, that first one. I like one. it. It's just, I don't know. It'd be great now this, like a diffuser. A diffuser, maybe. Or, again, nasal spray, like I said. If my nose is stuffy at night, I'll probably use Snip that. It. But this one, I actually like. The signature one, I, I'm actually really digging this one. Again, that sweet, spicy, citrusy, kind of almost bubblegummy. This one, I like. This one is a... Pass. Maybe this might be one of those fragrances that I'll have to grow to Let me like. Try it. Maybe let's yeah, let's try her skin. Maybe I got something on my skin that's kind of making this a little bit off-putting, but I don't know. You don't need that much because that mint is super strong right at the top. Let's make the dog sniff it. Maybe I'll calm them. Down. You guys, it is. That is literally just like smelling mint. I don't know if they made my batch and it's just a little coffee. Like coffee or like cocoa or something. It's very mild though. Extremely. Okay, maybe. Maybe this hand had a little bit of something on it because it. it it's extremely mild. I'm getting a little something in the background. It's still, the mint is really overpowering in this fragrance, um, even on her skin. So it wasn't just my skin. Mm -mm. But I am getting mild. a little bit of something else in the background now. It could super be like that mild. coffee or maybe even some kind of dark chocolate or maybe the combination of the two. But like I just... Besides wearing this like maybe on a winter day or something like that, I would... And maybe just outdoors. Maybe guys going looking at some Christmas lights. Honestly, and maybe a coffee shop just so you can kind of blend in with the rest of the smells in there. I don't see... A, and a type of occasion to wear that it to me the to me the mint is just and if the dry down is your thing maybe you're more of a dry down guy maybe you like the dry down this is too much for the first like 10 15 minutes that it's 
it kind of makes you not even want to get to the dry down. It's like, it's just too minty for me. So with that being said, you know, I got two of them. I like one of them. So 50%, which is not that hard if you get two things. So hope, man, luckily both of these weren't losers. But this one is a winner. Let's smell again. Hmm. It's getting better as it goes on. Will I have to redo this video? Yeah, it's getting better. It smells Wait, like um, it smells like my favorite coffee drink, mint mocha. Now, Wait, hold on. Look, it smells like mint mocha now, right? It's getting. It almost better. has. Maybe it's my skin. Hey, folks. You know, again, you guys are gonna see all of this in its entirety. Okay. You can just see the mishaps. You're going to see the mistakes. There's no editing here. On my hand, maybe it's because I had something on my hand earlier. I did have some other stuff. But now, on her skin, maybe we'll have to try this again another day on some real clean, brisk skin. I'm actually... There's almost kind of like a sweetness creeping up. Almost like a candy-like sweetness. That is kind of creeping up a little bit in the background with that mint, which is very nice actually. Now, you guys, okay, that's not as bad as I thought. Now, so the problem is, is that first initial spray mm. though. The first initial spray, that first few minutes, like maybe one or two minutes, is three minutes, four minutes, go five minutes at the max, is gonna be kind of too much mint. But you start letting that settle down a little bit, you kind of get this minty, almost kind of sweet fruitiness almost. Let me smell that one more. There's like a nice minty, almost a slight sweetness. Not too much, it's just very slight. And it's almost like this fresh, something fresh. I am getting a hint of coffee. Okay, maybe, okay. So maybe that isn't that bad after all, you guys. Maybe it was just my skin. You guys know what that's all like. You know, you guys can smell a fragrance on someone and someone says it smells like complete trash. And the next guy says, well, it smells great on my skin. So that might have been one of the times because, again, here, like, it doesn't smell as good as the one on your hand. And maybe the dogs were biting over here, so that could have been dog shit on my hand for all we know. Oh, my gosh. It didn't smell like dog shit. It smelled like mint. It did. It smelled like strong. It just but it just smelled like, like super strong mint and some herbs. But on her skin, it does smell much better. So take that with a grain of salt, you guys. If you guys are planning on purchasing this, if you got good skin, maybe to help. If you got dry, dull skin like me, maybe it wouldn't help I'm for the time. Or so. doggy breath skin. So, again, take that with a grain of salt. If you guys are thinking about purchasing these fragrances, maybe they're popping up on your timelines as well, because they sure enough found me somehow. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you did, hit the likes, the comments, and subscribe. And um, while she takes her hand off the dog real quick, we are going to do a little thumbnail. Peace.